Hello and welcome to Be, Do, Learn, Have, Live. And we'll explain that a little bit later on, but uh, welcome to our first uh, round of videos here. This is Wendy and Hi, I yeah. am Dave. Hello. Yeah. And this is the start of a series for us to explain um, what we've done in our past, what we've gone through over the last few years, and this is going to be the evolution of where we are going to take ourselves, and we would like you, thank you, for coming along with the ride with us. And so, let's get into some of this. So the be, do, learn, have, live side of things. Uh, there is a general expression. Okay, so we believe that, we believe that, um, and we have learned over the last couple of years that to live the life that we want and the life that we desire, we have to fit into a certain few categories to, to actually get where we want to go. So the be, do, learn, have, live is, is a sort of like a, a mantra thing that we have actually been sort of living with the last couple of years and we've really just finally realized there's a reason why we're doing it. So for example, we must be. So to be somebody, we need to be aware um, we need to show gratitude, we need to be a giving person, we need to have um, open, open mindedness to, to life in general and just to see the bigger picture instead of just being straight uh, narrow with the blinkers on. We also must do, we need to hustle to get the job done, to, to do the stuff that we want to achieve, we need to actually do the work to get the stuff that we need to do, so that's the do part. And then the learn part is so important. We're always learning and we should always be learning. We're always, Dave and I are always reading. We read a book every, every once or twice, uh, every one or two weeks. It um, depends on the book and yeah. depends on what our schedule is doing. But in a lot of cases, we can get through a book a week. Yeah. In most cases, we're reading two or three books at the same time. And certainly we'll get through at least two to three books in a month. Yeah. So, and these books are all on generally personal development or, or business type books to just to take us up a notch in the next level. So that's the learn part. And that to, to me is uh, is really important. You always have to be learning and always picking up new things to, to apply to the life that we're, we're actually building for ourselves. So that's really important. And then all three of these things, so the be, do and the learn, they all accumulate into the having and the living. So have the life that we desire and to live the life, life that we desire. So that's that's why we've given the, this, um, this channel this title. So. We're going to give you a brief history of where we've been and where we're at right now and we're going to continue our journey through this um, channel so you can follow us on our different journeys and different uh, seminars that we go to and all the other different experiences that we have to get to where we want to go and just to keep going because at the end of the day you may have a goal but it's actually the journey to get to the goal which is the fun part so that's that's what we want to bring you along for. So without further ado, we're going to give a quick intro into who we actually are and where we've come from. Uh, so I'll let you go first. Okay, I'll just stop and say before we get too far into this video, that the plan for all our videos is to be approximately around the 10 minute range. Okay. They will vary depending on what our subject's going to be, but the idea is we want these to be bite-sized chunks where you can live along. We'll certainly have a whole whack of videos and live posts and that sort of thing. They're probably going to be yeah. under 10 minutes, uh, just so you can get on with your life while uh, enjoying and being a part of ours. Right. Um, okay, so our history. Uh, neither of us are actually from Canada, which is where we now live. Uh, we were both born in the United Kingdom, um, although years prior I was moved with my family out to Canada where I grew up and ended up going back many years later to Wait, you, you moved years prior to you being born? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Maybe, <laughs> Go on, carry years on. prior to now, <laughs> but somewhere in the past between being born and whatever, I went back and met Wendy in the UK. And although we were living there for a few years and life was okay, there was a, a, a desire in my heart to come back to Canada because I grew up here and I saw that as home. And uh, I guess pretty much at that point I said to Wendy, okay, let's go to Canada. She was pretty much all for it. Mm -hmm. and. Um, one of our big steps that we've we've actually taken in, in our lives, actually, because we we moved over to Canada with a four month old baby, that was fun. <laughs> it, it was a a retrospect thing that I realized the universe was kind of colliding at that point and coming together for us because 
from making that decision, which is actually a, a huge uh, development learning thing, uh, it was only six months that we'd sold our house, mm -hmm. moved across the country and, and set up a home in, in Canada. So, you know, when, when you have the decision and things are set in process, you can right. uh, get returns pretty quick. That's right. So going back a little bit, um, I was a nurse and Dave was my patient, which is how we met. He asked me out um, in the hospital. Um, <laughs> so uh, that he was 18 and I was 20, so yeah, a bit of age difference. Um, but as I say, then we, we got together and moved to Canada. And uh, in 2004, we started our own company. Uh, in England, Dave was an engineer. Engineer, mechanical engineer. I was a mechanical craftsman, so okay. I was trained to what would be in North America millwright. That uh, would be my first apprenticeship. Okay. So then, when we got here, and then they decided to do um, a plumbing apprenticeship, which took us to be very uh, not well off. Uh, we were scrimping and scraping for quite a few years, and then we started our business, which meant we were scrimping and scraping even more. And in our first year, I think they said we pulled in about 50000 for our first year, and that's just in revenues. And that so, was... so the big challenge for yeah. us, as it was, moving across, uh, we both found out that our qualifications in the UK basically didn't mean anything uh, in Canada. Um, yeah. they, they sort of did, but they weren't quite where we needed to be for either one of us to actually get proper jobs in the fields we were in. We also moved to an area where me being a millwright wasn't uh, uh, actually that viable a job because there wasn't too many around. Although if I had looked, I probably could have found one. So both of us required some extra learning and training to do it. Um, at that point, I decided to drop into uh, the plumbing apprenticeship because I'd already covered some of that as part of my, my previous skills and then uh, end up doing an apprenticeship and roll through. That's why uh, the, the, the money wasn't quite there to start with because I had to start over as, as a basically mm -hmm. a new person in, in the trades and in the country and everything else. And you just do what you have to do. That's right. Yep, so in 2004, uh, after Dave qualified, um, he started his own business, because actually he was uh, laid off from the company he was in, so he thought, screw it, I'll start my own business. At that point, our kids were something like uh, uh, four and two or something like that, and it was pretty challenging, because Dave was expecting me to just sort of jump on board and, and get excited about it, which I really wasn't that excited about it at all. And, and you know, in those days as well, we were, we were thinking like the regular 95% of the population, just very narrow-minded, just plodding on day-to-day -day stuff and not learning anything, sitting down in the evening watching TV. And that's actually just has only changed in the last couple of years, actually. So we'd like to have found this um, stuff sooner, as in personal development, but it comes along at the right time for the right reasons. So we're real good with that, really. Um, and what was our purpose of going into business, really? What's our why for the business? <laughs> the purpose of the business was a total Michael Gerber, uh, you know, where I left the job and I'm like, well, okay, I can do this as well as anybody else. So why not go into business? Because I can do it just as well. Uh, I moved into a realm that I'd never actually been in. Although I had seen that my stepfather had his own plumbing business in the UK. Although in saying that I never actually worked with him. I didn't really do anything with him or anything about the business at that point, but Hey, I jumped in because I can do this better than anybody else. Mm -hmm. And that's uh, um, Michael Gerber's e -myth, if you're interested in what that book is. And the audio seminars are really, really good to listen to if you're on a long drive. So that's good. Anyway, so the plan, basically, uh, we're going to cut the video off here. We're going to do another one and talk about um, how we got on our self-development path and, and the different stages that we've been through to, to get to where we are today. And there's still lots and lots and lots of journey to go which is why we decided to start this channel. Um, so tune into the next video and we'll explain where we started. So thanks for listening and we'll see you in a bit.